Hello, welcome to this video of IITR CDC. In this video, we are going to show replication using CDC Kafka as the target engine. As you may already know, Kafka is an open source distributed messaging system. The IITR CDC solution of Kafka uses Confluent. Confluent packages Apache Kafka, which in turn is used by IIDR. Let me take you to the Confluent website and let me tell you that Confluent open source is all that you need to make IIDR CDC work. Confluent provides schema registry and other utilities that helps the data to be used and consumed by many various downstream applications. Schema registry helps maintain one view of the metadata and facilitates in schema evolution. One obvious question is in what format CDC writes data to Kafka? CDC writes data to Kafka topics in Avro binary. Now let's turn our attention to getting the required Kafka services running. We need to start Zookeeper, Kafka Server, Schema Registry, Kafka REST API in that order. I have a small script. that I'm going to run and it should be easy to follow. So I'm going to start Zookeeper, Kafka Server, Schema Registry, and REST API. It looks like the, looks like the services are up. Uh, let us see if indeed the services are up and running. Here we can see the REST server, Kafka server, schema registry, and Zookeeper, all the services are up and running. Let's move into, uh, to the next section. But before we do that, let me clarify a few assumptions. That we are going to make for this exercise. One is that we have a DB2 CDC instance which will act as the source engine. We already have created a Kafka target instance. If you're not familiar with these concepts, I suggest you please visit knowledge center at ibm.com slash support. Similarly, let's assume we also have management console and access server already configured and running. Let's um, move to management console. I already have the data stores that I need created for this particular exercise. But in case, just in case, you were to create a new data store, it's fairly simple, right click and put all the details. The only thing that you might, uh, might find tricky is the connection parameters. The connection parameters are the TS user, user and the password that were created during the configuration and the creation of the Kafka target instance. I'm not going to hit OK, I'll go forward and create a data store and cancel and come out of it. Um, one of the next step that you need to follow if you had created a new data store is to assign a user, which is right click and then assign a user like this. As you can see, since my data stores are already created, I already have a user assigned.
Next thing that we will do is to create a new subscription. Let's name it as Kafka Demo Sub 4. And I will appropriately assign the source on the target instances. And as you can see, it says the subscription is created. We'll just uh, accept the defaults. The table that I have created is called my table, and we are going to use this table for our exercise. So I'll accept that. And I'm going to accept all the other details. Now our Kafka subscription has been created. We have one more, one very important thing to do right here, which is to set the Kafka properties. This is, in other words, a creation of the link between the CDC subscription and the Kafka engine. It has two parts, one is the Zookeeper part and one is the Schema Registry part. Our Kafka is created with uh, default port numbers. Now we are done with creating a new subscription. Let's turn our attention to the DB2 table. There are two rows, a fairly simple table, and should give us a clear view of what's going on when you start the subscription. Time to go back. And start the subscription we had earlier created. We're going to just accept the defaults and make sure that the subscription comes to mirroring state. One of the ways to see if the rows are refreshed properly to the target is look at the event logs. We can see that three rows were successfully refreshed by CDC. We will now need a few Kafka commands to verify and validate that replication really works. I'm going to first list all the topics we should be able to find out the topic that has been created by CDC CDC creates a topic with the subscription name in it so that way it is easier to find out the topic here we can see 
that CTC has created a topic with the instance name, subscription name, and the table name. We will next proceed to see what is in there in the topic. For this, we will have to take help of the Confluent consumer. This utility comes with a package that we have already downloaded. I will have to make a little adjustment here. Uh, instead of sub 2, I'll make it a sub 4. And then Copy the comma command. Great. Uh, we can see the three rows that our table had has been refreshed into the topic that was created by CDC. Next, let's try a set of insert, update, and delete. We'll insert another row, update it, and subsequently delete it. So we inserted another row with employee ID 4 and employee name M4 and on the left hand side we can see that the row has been immediately replicated to the Kafka topic. Let's go ahead and update this row. Great, we see one row in the topic with the new updated employee name. Now let's try to delete this row and see what happens. This is interesting that that it a, a message with the right primary key but null as the rest of the values of the row that has been replicated. This is one of the features of Kafka by which Kafka can compress its data and reclaim all the rows that has been deleted a feature which is also known as compaction we have now seen Kafka services being set up and data replicated using CDC thanks for watching hope you liked it